Well, good afternoon. While it might not be an equal opportunity snowstorm, uh, it is equal opportunity for the holiday spirit, right? And have some pretty good looking pictures here I want to share with you. How about that? Uh, looks like a really beautiful Christmas tree, doesn't it? And uh, also Donna Bai sent us this photo at her house. Uh, just another great shot. Of course, we're getting some more snow on the uh, trees and on the ground right now. Winter weather advisory for the counties you see right here. Three to five inches of snow possible in those areas up to around three and, and might not less as you work your way farther to the uh, west. And then there's a winter storm warning for northeastern Montana. Stronger wind, heavier snow, all could happen there. So for today, here's what's going on. I think for today, we'll be looking at snow for almost everybody. Not necessarily everybody, but most of us. Could be up to three inches. Notice uh, that's kind of the key word there, up to three inches around uh, Minot. More possible to the east, and then much less snow in the west. And then for tonight, the snow will end in some areas. Temperatures should fall into the teens. And considering it's the first day of December, and this is North Dakota, that's not bad. Wednesday, snow possible early, teens to around 20 degrees for the high. And then on Christmas Day, mostly cloudy, low to mid-teens, for high temperatures. And we'll have a couple of cold days, and then it might even start warming up a little bit again. Right now, here's a look at the HD precision radar. Here's Highway 83, Highway 2. So you can see most, but not all, of the snow is east of Highway 83 in this first batch of snow, a little bit just north of Highway uh, 2 right now. Show you some more towns getting uh, some snowfall, and obviously the darker blue, the little heavier snow. Looks like it's snowing harder in, around, in rugby than it might be in many areas right now. And uh, in the Bakken, Stanley, Newtown, Powers Lake, Mandaree, uh, snow's not falling right now. But we do have the roads uh, beginning to deteriorate right now the road conditions a lot of scattered snow drifts on the road if you're traveling south today towards Bismarck Mandan you almost have to get to Bismarck before the roads improve a whole lot uh, visibility is really reduced uh, east of Minot down to around one mile of visibility uh, also some reduced visibility down in the far south central and that's our sky cam it has been snowing 25 degrees nor east northeast wind at 8 so it feels like 16 degrees in Williston don't even see any snow in the sky cam 25 southeast at 9 feels like 16 in Williston. Here are the temps around the area. Teens in the Turtle Mountains down to around Harvey. In the Bakken, probably low 20s for almost everybody, but we have a little bit of wind, so the wind chills have, have really been knocked down into the single digits from Harvey up into the Turtle Mountains. Uh, the Bakken, most of the wind chills in the Bakken are in the teens. However, a couple spots, Stanley, Crosby, some single digit above zero wind chills. The strongest wind is in the eastern part of the state. It's out of the east or uh, northeast for most of us, and this is kind of a weird set up because it is actually warmer in New York City than it is in Phoenix this hour. A big area of cooler air. Now, I'm, I'm using the word cool because this is December and it could be so much colder. But there's a lot of areas getting some snow right now, a lot of rain. But over the holidays, the big deal is going to be along the East Coast as the storm system will be uh, impacting travel. So what I would encourage you to do is if you're flying out anywhere this week, First thing, get up in the morning, turn on the KX Weather Channel uh, because we will have uh, airport conditions, not only for the Minot Airport, but all the airports you can fly to out of Minot. And of course, you can drive to the Bismarck one, but this will give you the conditions. You'll be able to get an early look if there's any uh, uh, delays. Now, here's our precision cast forecast model. This is showing most of the snow to the east, even in the next couple of hours, and that's pretty close to what's going on. Some of the snow kind of hangs on a little bit. You can see that there, and tonight at 10 o'clock, very little snow in the southern part of the state, a little bit in the north, and then it's just going to be hit and miss uh, tomorrow during the day by noon. Could be some snow in the Bakken. Other than that, just kind of hit and miss snow showers or uh, flurries throughout the day. But the other thing I notice here is it's not very windy. Notice these small little white arrows. That's light wind, so that's good because the temperatures will be dropping off some. So potential snow amounts. This particular forecast model is putting the heaviest snow in the northeast with one to three inches, up to three inches around uh, Minot, much less to the south and to the west. There's another forecast model that is painting uh, even heavier snow in the northeast. So bottom line is if you're traveling in the north part of the state there's going to be snow for the next couple of days so let's check out our seven day outlook uh, after this system pulse goes through it's going to start pulling down some colder air but one thing i like i don't see any minus signs in front of those numbers carla and this is a true winter we're in winter it's almost christmas and we're still above zero yeah we really can't complain about this year at all thanks tom hey tom how's the weather 
That is the medical careers class at Minot High. And you know what? The temperatures are above zero and it's almost Christmas. I kind of like it. And it sure is pretty outside. Now, this was taken a few days ago when we had all that hoar frost. And since then, we've had some snow. And that's obviously doing a number on the roads. If you're doing any traveling tomorrow, maybe heading to some friends or relatives, when you get up in the morning, turn on the KX Weather Channel. We'll have the road report on there so you'll know what to expect. Uh, but there's a little bit of snow falling tonight. It's not going to be heavy. The snow's in the Turtle Mountains and to the south of Minot. I'm not anticipating any uh, accumulation. Uh, the visibility is starting to drop in southwestern North Dakota, much of the Bakken and eastern Montana. Otherwise, visibility is pretty normal. Now, here's what you need to know for the next uh, couple of days. Uh, tonight, it'll be cloudy and cold with single-digit temperatures, hopefully above zero. Now, the wind chills will go below zero. Uh, on Christmas Eve, mostly cloudy, high temps in the teens to the low 20s. And then for Christmas Day, mostly cloudy and a little bit colder with daytime highs staying in the teens and then once we get into the weekend Saturday is going to be pretty cold daytime highs will be anywhere between five below and uh, 15 above so it depends on where you're at I put 10 uh, for the high for Saturday that's going to be around Minot 18 degrees right now sunrise on Christmas Eve will be at 834 in Minot in Williston 16 degrees sunrise in Williston tomorrow at 843 here are the temps around the area a lot of mid teens but that's not the real issue the real issue if you're outside maybe doing some last minute shopping tonight it's going to be cold in the parking lots because it uh, it's the wind's blowing enough you'll notice the wind chill in fact some of the wind chills have already fallen below zero especially in some of the northern counties but almost everybody else has wind chills very close to zero right now. Now, if you're heading, uh, flying out of here tomorrow and maybe heading south or to the East Coast, you don't need your heavy jacket. Look at those temperatures. It is real warm, but I want to show you something that's causing a lot of problem. There is a lot of moisture pouring out of the Gulf going up the East Coast right now, and that has triggered showers. It has triggered thunderstorms. There's numerous tornado watches. There's severe thunderstorm watches. Uh, the Weather Service is calling it a particularly dangerous situation tonight. Now, tomorrow, there will be more severe weather, but it does not look like the same setup as today, and while there will be some severe weather, there may not be a whole lot of it. So if you're going to be flying out or maybe somebody's flying in, again, check out the KX Weather Channel tomorrow morning because you can see what's going on at the Monad Airport to find out if we have any delays or some of the other airports around the country. Of course, you can uh, drive to the Bismarck one. Uh, Chicago's O'Hare Airport right now uh, reporting the only a delay at least at the airports that we're tracking here. And that will be on the Weather Channel tomorrow morning. But for the rest of us staying here, how about this? What I like about this is how small those arrows are. They're white and they're really small. That means very little wind to start the day tomorrow. And throughout the day, the wind may change direction a little bit, but it's not going to be very strong. So wind chill won't be an issue tomorrow or blowing snow. There just really won't be enough wind for a lot of blowing snow. And then once we get into uh, Christmas morning itself, uh, very light wind and all day, at least, well not all day, but most of the day, the wind will be pretty light. Now this forecast model is trying to bring some snow in late Christmas afternoon. Uh, this changed a lot in the past little bit. Uh, a little while ago, it was keeping the snow south of I-94. So this is kind of a fluid situation, but we should get through most of Christmas uh, before any uh, snow moves into the southern part of the state. So for tonight in Minot, right around 7 degrees. Not expecting any snow in Minot. And uh, tomorrow, right around 22. Williston's forecast tonight, a little light snow, about 7 degrees. And tomorrow in Williston, uh, close to 21 or so. And here's a look at our 7-day outlook. I think the weather's going to cooperate right through Christmas. Now, after that, it gets cold for a couple of days. But next week, back to normal. Sounds like winter in North Dakota. It does. All right. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Tom. Coming up tonight, you